Cheryl has taken to social media to pay tribute to Queen Elizabeth II following her death on Thursday at the age of 96. The longest reigning monarch in British history died peacefully on Thursday afternoon at her Balmoral residency in northeast Scotland. A statement from Buckingham Palace read, The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Tributes have been pouring in from across the world following the death of Her Majesty and Cheryl, who she had met on several occasions due to her royal variety performances over the years as part of Girls Aloud and as a solo artist, penned an emotional message on Friday lunchtime. Writing to her 3.5 million Instagram followers, Cheryl said, May you spread your wings and fly into the loving arms of your awaiting prince. Thank you for your service. Rest peacefully, followed by a crown emoji. In the post were two photos, the first being a black and white image of Her Majesty smiling in her younger years before Cheryl shared a shot outside Buckingham Palace where a double rainbow shone superbly over the Queen Victoria Memorial in front of the gates of the monarch's residence as news gathered of her passing. Cheryl has worked closely with the new heir to the throne, King Charles III, in her projects with the Prince's Trust, which included setting up her own charity called Cheryl's Trust with a centre in her hometown of Newcastle. Cheryl and the King, then the Prince of Wales, paid a visit to the centre in November last year. In his historic first address to the nation as our monarch on Friday, King Charles pledged to carry on the work of his darling mama and serve his country with loyalty, respect and love. At 6 p.m., the king, dressed in sober black suit and tie, spoke from the blue drawing room of Buckingham Palace, where the queen would sometimes film her Christmas broadcasts, with a photograph of her by his side. He began by paying a heartfelt tribute as a grieving son to his mother, speaking of his profound sorrow at her death today after a 70-year reign, at the age of 96. The King said, My beloved mother was an inspiration and example to me and to all my family, and we owe her the most heartfelt debt any family can owe to their mother, for her love, affection, guidance, understanding and example. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebsatmirror.co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29